You're the only God whose power none can contain. You're the only God whose name and praise will never end. And you're the only God who's worthy of everything we can give. You.
Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Another day to praise his name. Another day to declare his glory. Another day to hear his word that is filled with life. Because Jesus said, my word is life. 
They are spirit. The spirit of God is upon his word. And it is filled with life. In Jesus name. Amen and amen and amen. I'm declaring to you today. That the shalom of God. Take over your mind. Take over your, your heart. Your emotion. Even your health. The word of God. The shalom of God. By the stripes of Jesus. All is well. You are well. You are healthy. You are strong. In Jesus name. Amen. And amen and amen. Blessings to every one of you. From different parts of, of United States. Praise God. From different parts of the Philippines. From Macau. From different parts of Singapore. People from different parts of the world. We say shalom. 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 Nothing is missing. Nothing is broken. Every part of your body is complete. Every part in your life is complete in Christ Jesus. You are whole. He did everything 2,000 years ago that we can he, we can experience, we can have a victorious, lovely, beautiful life in Christ Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. We have a powerful a word and just um, a comment from one lady. She says, I, I have learned, Apostle, that uh, I need to subdue anger in my life. For many years, anger has been ruling my life. For years, I was always upset and I was always angry. And I never realized that was controlling my life. So wherever I go, I always see the negative side of the person. I always see the neg. I don't see the positive side. So I'm telling you guys, God wants just God wants us to see a faith that is positive. The faith in Christ is always, always believing that all things work together for good. Hallelujah. So this lady says, I need to just master my emotion and master the word of God that all things work together for good. Another uh, sister. There is always hope to change the way we think, to change the way we handle our time. There is always hope that we can manage our negative emotions and we can say no. We will manage and organize our emotion and we will continue to follow God's plan and purpose for our lives. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen. God bless you guys. Every one of you joining us today. I'm very excited to tell you a lot of people are just waking up. Say waking up. Why they are waking up? From sleep. Not from the physical sleep. From the spiritual sleep that uh, we have been actually um, conditioned by the system of the world. This system of the world has been conditioning a lot of Christians, a lot of people around the world, even the believers, to be focused on talking, to focus on more on spending and wasting their time, to be focused on social media, Instagram, YouTube, BVOs, and we have forgotten the real thing, what is more important in life, and that is... You know, getting to know our Lord Jesus Christ, praying, spending time with the Word of God, you know, sharing the gospel. You know, we need to be focusing on what is our priority as a believer. Hallelujah. So, guys, we have a lady from, uh, from Israel, and this lady is a lady pastor. She said, this message, apostle, that you've been sharing has really woke me up. It's time to wake up. Say, time to wake up. It's time to get out of our complacency. And we say, no more wasting of years in Jesus' name. I'm not going to waste another year. This year, 2023, 
I, I, I also have been really receiving ministry from the Holy Spirit. I've been upgrading myself to really be able to handle my time, my mind, my emotion, and my body properly. So I, I do, you know, physical exercise. My mind is, is alert in growing in the Lord, growing in the Lord, studying His Word, studying how can I upgrade my spiritual life so that we can fulfill the God-given assignment in Christ Jesus. So this lady says, it's a wake up for me, time to wake up, to be able to say no more wasting of time in Jesus' name, because there are time wasters. One of that is people who are taking much of your time and you don't even fulfill your, your assignment from the Lord. You have no time to be with your children. You have no time to, to pray. You have no time to study the Word of God. You don't, don't have time to properly organize the things, house chores. And because of this, you see, some people are wasting our time. And you have to be ready for this. Some people you need to let go. I learned this in my walk with the Lord and I'm learning more. So praise God. Another lady said, I am actually repenting apostle um, that um, after hearing the messages in the past days, especially last Sunday, I am repenting that I have been through a lot of depression. And because of that, I spend more time listening to the different videos the reels and and all kinds of youtube videos and dramas and all this everybody look at me some people would have their own drama and you keep listening and listening and listening to them and they take your time and they're they're actually throwing to the to you the garbage all the pain the hurts and the anger and the bitterness if you're not careful you get the sadness you get the anger the bitterness so remember listen carefully it's time to organize and you need to have uh, self-imposed discipline hallelujah so guys this is beautiful I myself and my family are learning to become more and more productive say productive fruitful in the kingdom of God that's what Jesus said to Adam when he created go and God blessed them and said you rule you take dominion and you replenish the earth be fruitful and multiply so that's our actually dna that we are fruitful productive hallelujah say my dna is being fruitful being productive in jesus name so guys let's let's uh partake the holy communion and i realize also if we are very careful the way we eat the way we organize our lives our body will be healthy because Jesus had already taken all our sicknesses and diseases 2,000 years ago. So we can remain healthy and strong with a long, satisfied life. Say, so long, satisfied life. Father, we thank you that you just bless us today. Bless this bread and this cup. Sanctify it, make it holy unto the elements of the Holy Communion. We declare that we, as your children in Christ Jesus, that we are redeeming, you know, what you have called man, Adam and Eve, to be, uh, to, we are blessed and we will rule, we will manage, we will be good managers and we can be productive and be fruitful in Christ Jesus. Bless this bread and this cup in Jesus' name. Amen. Jesus said, this is my body which is for you. Eat this in remembrance of me. Let's eat the bread. Be whole, be healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. After supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant, my blood. Drink this and remembrance of me. Let's drink the cup in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. In Christ, you are productive. In Christ, you are healthy. In Christ, you are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. In Christ, you are wealthy. In Christ, you can have self-control and it's time. Now listen carefully. Time to have self-control in Christ Jesus and self-imposed discipline. Okay, self-imposed discipline. Okay, let me read that because it's given by Paul to the sec to the Corinthian church in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 1 and 2. This is powerful, guys. TPT translation. Everybody share this live video streaming. Hi, God bless you, Mel. Are you now here in the United States? Hi, Karen. God bless you from Japan. Every one of you just share this live video streaming. And God bless you guys. Thank you. And the shalom, shalom of God be upon
upon you. Nothing is missing. Nothing is lacking. Nothing is broken. Now, Paul said, now since we are God's co-worker or co-laborer with God, we beg you. We beg you. Paul was saying, I'm asking you right now because you have received the saving grace of God. We beg you not to take God's marvelous grace for granted. Don't take God's grace for granted. God gives us the grace. We don't deserve it. God gave it to us by allowing it to have no effect in our lives. So you see, we can have the saving grace of God through Jesus Christ. We are saved, we are forgiven, but we still are disorganized with our mind, with our emotion, are, are, are ruled by anger and bitterness. This is not supposed to be. We must manage our emotion, negative emotion. You say no, no, no to gossip, no, no to negative people, no to envy, no to hatred, no to haters in Jesus' name. And in verse 2, Paul said, for he says, for he says, God, I listened to you at the time of my favor. And the day when you needed salvation, I came to your aid. So can't you see? Now is the time to respond to his favor. Wow. I'm declaring to you that this is the time you respond. We become organized. We respond to his favor. Now is the day of salvation. What is that? We respond to the, to the favor, the grace that God has given us. So God has given us so much grace. God has given us so much time to organize. And there are so many Christians, why? They are actually struggling in finances in, or in debt is because even, you know, God keeps pouring his blessing because he loves us. We are, he loves us so much that God gave his son. Even if he loves us, if we will not organize our time, our mind, we are easily distracted and we actually uh, have taken lightly on the marvelous gift of God's grace and favor to us. So don't miss the moment. Don't miss this time, this year, that we will waste another year. And I'm, I'm, I'm asking you right now that we need to have a self-imposed discipline say self imposed discipline what is that apostle when you have a vision when you have a goal i have a goal this year my goal is to reach more people for christ we we have a goal as a, as a church as my apostle sarah and i we have a goal to go out every day or or every other day to share to invite people to the saving grace of god we give flyers our goal is to share the gospel, that Jesus be known, that there is grace, there is hope in Christ Jesus. Whatever situation you probably are in, there is always hope in Jesus' name. But what is self-discipline? You say no. If people say, okay, we just have fun, we just, you know, walk in the malls and we just, you know, talk and have coffee for five hours and say, no, I'm going to meet you for 30 minutes, probably have coffee with you for 30 minutes and that's it. You make a decision to have a self-discipline. You impose a self-discipline in your life because nobody's going to do it for you. You know, friends, your, 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 uh, classmates or your office mates are not going to do a self-imposed discipline that's why god gave us <clears throat> by the holy spirit self-control that is self-imposed uh, discipline why and when you have a self-imposed discipline or when you have a self-discipline you have a self-imposed standard so to achieve higher goals in life let's be conscious with our goal um i have a goal to be able to, to continue to mentor our children uh joshua dorcas justine esther and our grandchildren so we have time we have time to pray with them we have time we call them and when even if they are busy we call them and we said okay can we pray for you can we share this one verse with you why is that because we we must respond to his favor not all the time we will be able to do that and remember our children are growing fast they would not be able to re you know if we don't take the time right now you know like the tree you need to we were talking to one brother yet last night it says you know when when the tree when you plant a tree as early as the tree is is just you know very young you need to bend it right now 
bend where you want it to go because when the tree is older, you're going to break the tree to be able to bend it. Same in the spirit. So we must have a self-imposed discipline. I'm declaring to you right now, what is self-imposed discipline? I only give time that I will be having Facebook, you know, like you know, this much time. That's it. Uh, I will only have time. So uh, very important. Give yourself a time to pray. Give yourself a time to read the Bible. To give yourself, I'm, I'm reading, you know, I pick up, uh, I, I go early today to pick up Hadassah, but I bring a book of Dr. Yongichov. While I was waiting for Hadassah to come out from the school to pick her up, I have around, I arrive, um, you know, around 15 minutes earlier. So I was reading the book of Dr. Cho and I started to pray in the spirit. So I was watching, I'm learning to organize my time and never waste a time. You need to, you know, become productive. It's, it's you who are setting goals. You want to become mature in the Lord. You want to become stronger in the Lord. You want to be used by the Lord. I'm asking God to use me more years in the coming days, like, you know, uh, younger and stronger. And I'm asking God to use Apostle Sarah and I, but we need to plan that how can we, God use us if we are not actually upgrading our spiritual walk. So I listen to different men of God. I listen uh, and the, to the preachings and I take notes and, and I do exercise, all kinds of this. You will, it will take time. You see, so organizing, you, I also wrote, I need to call the insurance today because they were charging me from something that, you know, they are supposed to be paying. So I write down what are the things I need to accomplish for this day. And when I retire, look at me, it feels so good. So guys, let's, let's just not take lightly, take the grace of God for granted. You, you, God wants to give you success. Success is, is. In Christ Jesus success and victory belongs to God and God is giving it to you right now but let's organize ourselves our emotion our mind especially our mind we learn to say no to you know time waster I was listening to uh, one radio program today and they said that um, in every hour around 32 32 millions pictures are being posted all over the world all over the world in the social media according to the study 32 million pictures they post their, their Instagram those social media whatever it's uh, it's available uh, the Facebook but a lot of people have forgotten to take pictures of their walk with the Lord in front of God how they are growing in the Lord so you see it's more on self. The social media is getting the approval of men. You don't need the approval of men. You're already approved in Christ Jesus. You want to hit your target this year? You know, reach the lost, more people saved. You want to have your family grow in the Lord. You want your whole family to be saved. You want your finances to be fixed. Focus and doing everything you can to reach your goal in Jesus Christ. You want to have a big savings? That's it focus 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 self-imposed discipline father thank you for today thank you lord that we can just even to meet people we can just have certain time we're not going to be waster of time anymore we will manage our time our mind our emotion our talents even our relationship we have time we have time say i have time in jesus Christ's name is a lie from the enemy when you start saying i have no time because you have not managed your time well in jesus name amen how many of you learned something how many of you are free today remember god's plan is total freedom it's not just only to accept jesus christ total freedom from all the works and from all the lies of the enemy that's mastery that's mastering say mastery mastering the truth and when you master the truth it's easy to detect the lie it's easy to detect the works of the devil in Jesus name and you're here for the first time um, and you have never given your life to Jesus he loves you so much would you pray with me and say Lord Jesus I repent I am a sinner Today, 
I accept you today. I am as my Savior and my Lord. My life is yours. Take over my life to be the Lord of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Everybody, guys, I'm asking you because it's time. You make a decision. Now is the time, not tomorrow. Now is the time to give a self-imposed you know, discipline and say, I'm going to discipline my time. I'm going to pray in tongues for 30 minutes. I'm going to pray in, in my mind. I'm going to pray for the, for the government. I'm going to, it's time to organize. I'm going to be praying for our children. Children are going to be our next generation in Jesus name. God bless you guys. I'm learning, we are learning. All of us are learning. Let's fix our mind organize our mind in Christ. I love you and everybody share this live video. See you tomorrow and be blessed and keep praying for us as we're doing another mission trip um, this coming days for the glory of God to reach other people for Christ. Amen and amen and amen. Organized mind will lead you into, into an organized life. Amen. So let us continually uh, focus in uh, managing our time because uh, our time is limited, amen. Our our life here on earth will have a certain amount of years, and uh, we pray that we will uh, be be uh, wise. That we will be magiging marunong sa pag-aayos, pag-organize ng ating mga oras. Let's all bow down our heads and pray. Father God, once again, we just want to thank you for this wonderful day. We just want to thank you for the opportunity of being with your presence and hearing your word on a day-to-day -day basis. Father God, continue, Lord God, to change us from glory to glory. Help us, O oh Lord, to organize our time, to manage our money, to manage our resources, to manage our relationships, to manage, Lord God, our talent that you have been trusted unto us. Because we believe that uh, as you have uh, trusted us with little, you can also trust us with much. And uh, once again, allow the Holy Spirit to um, speak to us through our prayers. And uh, we believe, Lord, hallelujah, that as a... Uh, uh, the Holy Spirit will be our helper in uh, maximizing our time, maximizing our potential. Father God, uh, may you accept all our songs of worship. We honor you, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody says amen and amen.
And we will continue to read among the people, among the nations. Today, we are going to pray for Ot the Igoyer. Or, ah, uh, yan po yung Ivory Coast, Ot the Igoyer. So, let's pray for this nation. Let's pray for the gospel to penetrate into the evangelized sectors of a predominantly Muslim world. Pray for Christians to seize evangel- evangelistic opportunities among foreigners flowing into the country. Let's pray for the truths of the Bible to be taught and used effectively to disciple believers. Hot the Boer or Ivory Coast is known as the jewel of West Africa. With over 60 indigenous tribes, each with their own distinct identities and traditions. Cote d'Ivoire is a nation of great ethnic diversity. Even short journeys in the country will bring different music, art, festivals, and languages. As one of the largest producers of coffee and palm oil, this nation was once a model of economic prosperity. Yet today, it faces economic downfall, national dissension, ethnic division, and political instability. Since 2002, it has suffered through two civil wars and multiple military coups. After losing the 2010 election, President Lauren Gagbo refused to step down from office. This instigated a five-month conflict that killed 3,000 and displaced half a million. The economy has also suffered greatly due to the dropping price of cocoa, on which they heavily rely. Additionally, roughly 500,000 people live with HIV or AIDS, which claims around 40,000 lives each year. Pollution has also been introduced into the Bia River which acts as a primary source of drinking water for many people. Cote d'Ivoire is largely split between its primarily Muslim North and Christian South. The approximately 44% claim Islam and 34% Christianity. Yet even amid national division, the church is growing in unity through partnerships in radio broadcasting, publishing, and much more. Muslims and Christians are even working together to better their nation through literacy and health centers. These types of partnerships have become powerful avenues for the gospel. The church is growing rapidly and churches are being planted. 
its capital city is Yamosoko. Tama ba yung pagpapalaya? I'm right? Yamosoko. Population is 28 million. At sa 28 million kung yan, 44% Muslims, Christians, are around about 34%. And ethnic religion is 22%. One third ng population ay unreached pa. 33.3%. Hindi pa po sila lang natinig ng word of God. Panalangin natin na lahat ng tao sa bansang to makarinig ng salita ng Diyos. Kasama po ng bansang ito, papanalangin din natin ng Macau at Pilipinas at lahat po ng mga prayer request na inyo pong itatype sa comment section, sa chat box at sa prayer wall. Sama-sama po natin niyang ipapanalangin. Kaya patuloy lang po tayo. Lagi po join sa hope at uh, lagi po tayong nalangin para sa mga prayer request at sa mga bansang ito. Alam po natin na kung um, Diyos ay kikilos, kumikilos sa mga bansang ito, sa mga tao, maging sa ating mga prayer request, may gagawin si Lord. So, sige po, type in nyo lang mga po dyan. Meron pa po ang mga mahabol na prayer request. Type nyo lang po at mamaya ako pag bebray ko na po na dyan. We praise you, Lord, for your love for the country of Côte d'Ivoire. You express your love by sending your servant to proclaim the gospel of salvation so that the people of this land may know and praise you. We are so thankful, Father, for your church all over the country. As we look at the recent history of the country, Father, we pray for reconciliation through Christ's love after 15 years of political unrest and civil war. We pray for restoration and wellness for those who have suffered the atrocity of war. May your church be the tool that makes itself available to be used for this restoration. As we praise you for continued freedom to spread the gospel, Father, we pray for the church to recapture the vision for evangelism of the entire country. We pray for the gospel to penetrate into the evangelized sectors of a predominantly Muslim North. We also pray for the enriched living in the remote areas to hear a clear presentation of the gospel. May your church, Lord, Use any opportunity you make available to preach the pure gospel to the foreigners flowing into the country. We also pray for the believers to rightly discern between true and false teachings. We pray for spiritually mature leaders in the churches who will preach the Bible with integrity. Let them be used by the Holy Spirit to proclaim a gospel that is devoid of syncretism and heresy. We faithfully believe that you will hear us and will grant us whatever we are asking in the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Where 
where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my guide. Hold me closely to His side. With love and strength for each new day. you will make a way your word will still remain and you will do something new today thank you for waking us up panginoon thank you for teaching us to have self imposed discipline teach us panginoon to focus help us how to master the truth you are good and you are strong so we run to you today forgive us panginoon for the complacency with which we have give room to sins in our lives Align our spirit, Panginoon, to yours in one accord. Patuloy mo kaming isanctify, Panginoon, and through your Holy Spirit, humbly we can come boldly in your throne. With confidence, we have we have in approaching you, our dear God, that if we ask anything, Panginoon, this is the confidence we have this morning as we stand on the, on the gap of Cout de Boar. We pray for the gospel to penetrate into the unevangelized sectors of a predominantly Muslim North. Our Father in heaven, we bow before you, our great and sovereign King. All power and authority belongs to you alone. And we thank you, Panginoon, that you have chosen us to establish a kingdom that cannot be shaken. And in love and in your mercy, Panginoon, you bring us all together, Panginoon, para magtiwala at manampalataya sa iyo. Our dear God, we pray for the spread of the gospel in this nation of Cote d'Ivoire. Lord, in your mercy, bring your gospel to penetrate into the unevangelized sectors of Muslim. Let the message of truth, truth, Panginoon, dwell among those unevangelized sectors richly as they teach and admonish one another with all wisdom. Cause those sectors of predominantly Muslims to hear and receive your word. May they be penetrated with the truth, the truth that will set them free. Bring them, Panginoon, into the kingdom of your dear son, Jesus Christ, and light their hearts, Panginoon, sa passion for the spread of the gospel. Your gospel can able to change hearts by the power of your Holy Spirit, Panginoon, of those who hear and may they bring life, Panginoon, sa mga hindi pa nakakakilala sa iyo. We ask, Panginoon, your word to be the lamp of their feet and the light of their path. Let your word be proclaimed in this nation, Panginoon, Let your truth be known in all sectors. We pray for the Christians to raise evangelical for evangelistic opportunities among foreigners flowing into the country. As your word says, Panginoon, as we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all unto all men. 
And as Christians who follow the example of our Lord Jesus, everyone must involve in serving to meet the needs of others. Lord God, we pray for the Christians in Cote in Cot d'Ivoire. Give, give them, Panginoon, greater love for the lost. Help them to rise up to these evangelistic opportunities among foreigners. No people that cannot be reached, Panginoon. No chains that cannot be broken if they hear the truth. Lord God, let your presence and glory fall on you sa lahat ng mga lingkod mo in this nation. Ignite them with an unquenchable flame. Just give them, Panginoon, the boldness. Fill this land through your cold servants with the glorious hope of eternal life in your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. We long for the evangelistic opportunities para sa mga anak mo in this nation to proclaim the goodness of your name. Bring them into contact with those who have given eyes to see and ears to hear. Idirect mo, Panginoon, ang kanilang mga steps and lead them into the conversation you want them to have. Precious Holy Spirit, please come in power and do the mighty work of salvation in this nation sa lahat ng mga foreigners na dumadako sa lugar na ito. We pray for the pure and adulterated truths of the Bible to be taught and used effective, effectively to disciple believers. Dear God, we thank you for breaking the chains that kept all the people in this land in bondage to wrong beliefs. Dear God, teach them, Panginoon, teach them the pure and adulterated truth of your word. Ito yung means, Panginoon, by which disciples of our Lord Jesus Christ transformed in order to become more like Him. It is your desire for everyone to know you and with the pure and unadulterated truth of the Bible to be taught, there will be an effective discipleship in this nation. Help them to learn how to disciple people in a way that they can understand and help them, Panginoon, to grow. As your word declares, O Lord, that if we hold to your teaching, they are really your disciple. Guide them in truth, Father. May they continually walk in your truth, that wherever their hearts is divided, patuloy mo silang turuan to fear your name. Direct their steps, O Lord God, as they teach for effective discipleship. Let your will and ways be done. Thank you for your truth and freedom it is bringing, Panginoon, sa lugar na ito. Thank you that you heard our prayers, that you are attentive sa buhay ng bawat isa na, sa amin, Panginoon, and even sa bawat nation na idinudulog namin sa iyo, that they are not alone, Father. You are near to all who call on you, to all who call, who call on you on truth. We bind evil right now, Panginoon, in the name of Jesus over this nation. May your righteousness keep this country safe. Let your water of love, kindness, wisdom, and truth overflow sa lugar na ito. Help them to be a nation that fears you. A nation that is not afraid, afraid to acknowledge, Panginoon, that you are the true living God. Help them to focus on you. Take charge. Panginoon, and let your glory fill this place. Humbly, humbly, Panginoon, i-prosper mo ang economy ng land na ito. We pray for a great spiritual revival to swept this land. May this nation seek your face, O Lord God, and love you with all their hearts, souls, and minds. May this nation of Cote d'Ivoire be acknowledged, Panginoon, ang pangalan ni Jesus. Dalangin namin dakilang Diyos that this nation is yours and we believe that you're freely moving at this moment in this land. Let your Holy Spirit, Panginoon, ang maranasan ng bawat mamamayan sa place na ito. We claim the victory of this prayer, Panginoon, na ang bawat dalangin namin, O Lord God, for this nation was answered according to your will. Let your will be done in this land and let your name be praised and glorified. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Yes, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus, Lord, hallelujah, Jesus.
Maraming salamat, Panginoon Lord, sa kabutihan mo. Tunay nga, O Diyos, na walang imposible sa iyo, Panginoon, dahil pumabalik na po ang sigla ng Bansang Makaw. Naniniwala kami, Panginoon, na lahat ng nawala, nasira na dulot ng pandemya, Panginoon, sa mga nakaraang taon, Lord, ay kayang-kaya mong ibalik ng masigit pa, Panginoon, sa inahasaan ng bawat isa. At naniniwala kami, Panginoon, Lord, na may, mag- may mas maganda ka pang gagawin, Panginoon, sa bansang ito. Yes, Lord, we humbly pray, O God, sa patuloy na pag-iingat mo sa mga businesses dito sa Macau. You are our God, Panginoon, the wonderful creator of everything. At naniniwala kami, Panginoon, ang patuloy na pagkilos mo sa bansang ito. Punuin mo, Lord, godly business, ang bansang Macau at magkaroon ng maayos na pamamalakad kasabay ng paglawak, paglago, Panginoon, ng bawat negosyo na naayon lamang sa iyo. Patuloy mo din po, Panginoon, bigyan ng pag-asa ang mga naghahanap ng trabaho, Panginoon. Help them, Lord, na dumiptende lamang sa iyo. Sa kaya mong gawin, Panginoon, para sa kanila. Tulungan mo doon po sila, Panginoon, Lord, na magkaroon ng lakas ng loob. Dahil ang pag-asa ay nagmumula lamang sa iyo, Panginoon. Ipagkaloob mo po ang mga trabaho, Lord, na nararapat para sa kanila at magkaroon ng intimate relationship sa iyo. Ang trabaho, Panginoon, Lord, na magkakaroon ng malayong oras na mapapurihan at sambahin ka, Panginoon. Naniniwala kami, Panginoon, that may the reign of your kingdom be extended in this country, Lord. We even pray, Panginoon, sa mga churches, Lord, na patuloy mong ginagamit sa bansang ito. Ikaw po ang siyang manguna, Lord, sa buhay ng mga pastors, leaders. Dalangan namin, Ama, ang karunungan at malawak na kaalaman patungkol sa iyong kaharian. Lord, pour out the anointing with the Holy Spirit over them, Lord. Help them to be strong in your mighty power. Bigyan mo sila ng courage to preach the gospel, Panginoon, without compromise. At hayaan mo, Panginoon, dumaloy ang iyong mga buhay na salita sa puso at isipan ng bawat isa dito sa Macau. Lalong-lalo na, Panginoon, sa mga taong hindi palubos na nakakakilala sa iyo. Tangi ang pangalan mo lamang, Lord, ang siyang maitaas sa bansang Macau. Kilalanin at tanggapin ka bilang Lord and Savior. Ikaw na ang malayang kumilos, Lord, sa buhay ng mga mamayan dito sa Macau. Patuloy mo din gamitin, Lord, ang mga believers to be filled with the Holy Spirit. At magkaroon, Panginoon, ng boldness na ipahayag ang kabutihan mo kung paano ka kumilos, Lord, sa buhay ng bawat isa. Nang iyong mga salita at ang iyong mga pangako ay nagsilbing buhay na patutuo, Panginoon, sa buhay ng iyong mga anak dito sa Macau. We believe, Panginoon, at nananampalataya kami, Lord, that you will transform this place according to your will. Dahil ang bansang Macau, Panginoon, ay para sa iyo lamang. Patuloy mo din kaming pakalinisin, Lord. Baguhin. Purify, purify our hearts to be more like you. Upang magampanan namin ng maayos ang mga inihanda mong gagawin namin. And Lord, to encourage more souls na badala sa iyo. Tulungan mo po kami sa mga battles namin sa araw-araw. Patawarin mo kami, Lord, sa aming mga pagpukulang. Minsan dumarating ang panghihina sa amin, Lord, but we always remember to look at the cross and we always find eternal life at pati ng mga gagandang plano, Lord, na inahanda mo po sa amin. Maraming salamat, Lord, sa cross na nagsilbing kalakasan namin, Lord, sa araw-araw. Give us strength, Lord, and we will never give up, Lord, dahil lagi kang nandyan para sa amin. We ask your presence, Lord, with the Holy Spirit na patuloy na manahan sa aming buhay. Muli kaming nagpapasalamat, Lord, sa umagang ito. Sa pagmamahal mo at naniniwala kami na lahat ng aming dinulog na panalangin sa iyong panan ay nagkaroon na po ng kasagutan. Patuloy mo po kaming ingatan sa araw na ito, Lord. Ito na po ang tamot dalangin sa matamis na pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. Yes, hallelujah, hallelujah. Panginoon, maraming maraming salamat po, Lord, at sa opportunity yung binigyan po sa amin. Maraming salamat po, Lord God, at tinahog mo po ang pangmabingkod sa iyo. Panginoon, kung may pwede malapit sa iyo, nagpapakumbaba, mihingi ng kapatawaran sa lahat ng aming makasalanan. Lord, dinudulog po namin ang aming bansang Pilipinas, ang aming bansang... Alam mo po kung ano man may pinagdadaanan ng aming bansa. Alam po namin, Lord God, may still in control sa lahat na nangyayari sa bansang ito. Kaya wala po kami dapat ipangamba o ikatakot. Pagkat alam po namin, Panginoon, na ikaw po yung nagbibigay karunungan, kaalaman sa aming presidente, 
saming gobyerno lang kad na magkaroon po sila ng uh, pantay na pantay-pantay na pagtingin sa aming kababayan lang kad na walang ma- mayaman o mahirap pang inot. Pagkat alam po namin lang kad na magiging maayos tong bansang ito ng dahil lamang sa iyo. Wala po kaming magagawa pang inoon kundi pa nalangin ng araw-araw lang kad sa bawat oras minuto o segundo lang kad. Kano po bahala pa minuon? Kano din po bahala sa aming mga magulang, sa aming mga pamilya pa minuon, sa mga taong nakawalan ng pag-asa, sa mga taong nagkukulang larkad, sa mga taong walang trabaho, Panginoon, ikaw na po bahala sa kanila. Wala man po kaming maibigay, kami itulong larkad, pero alam po namin, pag nanalangin po kami sa iyo, pag tinulog po namin ito, Alam po namin kumikilos ka. Sir, alam po namin maraming pagkukulang ng bansang ito. Marami pong mga kaguluhan, corruption, Lord God. Pero naniwala po kami, na, naniwala po kami, Lord God, na darating yung oras na may na magiging maahis. Makikilala itong bansang ito, Lord God, na maayos. Alam po namin na dadayuin ito ng mga maraming turista. Lord, ganun din po sa mga churches, sa mga missionaries, Lord God, sa aming mga kapatiran. Lord, bigyan po sila ng courage, Lord God, upang may ibahagi yung mga salita. Upang makapag-evangelize po sila sa mga taong naliligaw ang kanilang kaluduwa, Lord God. Panginoon, ito lang po yung magagawa po namin. Panalangin ang aming mga kapatiran. Alam po namin, Lord God. Even though na kami po itinahatap, tinahawag mo, Lord, marami po kami yung pagkukulong. Marami po pagkukulong ang mga churches, Lord God. Pero nang dahil sa iyong grasya, nakakayanan po namin ang mga pagsubok at may bahagi yung kabutihan. Panginoon, ikaw daw po bahala. Sino surrender na po namin lahat na sa inyo. Jesus, may timi pray. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Uh, Father God, once again, maraming maraming salamat dahil palagi mo dinidinig ang lahat-lahat ng ayaw mga panalangin. We continue to pray for Apostle Abraham sa kanya pong uh, missions. O oh Lord, ingatan mo siya uh, maging ang kanya pong uh, asawa, Lord. Hallelujah ni si Apostle Sarah. Sa kanila pong pag-ubiyahin, samahan mo sila. Continue to give them wisdom, knowledge, and revelation and discerning spirit, O oh Lord, that truly that they can uh, perform. the mission that you have planted into their hearts. And Lord, we even pray, Lord, for all the churches, uh, GDI Church, for the Ram Churches, for the Mema Churches, and even, Lord, for ABF Church, for that yung pinagkatiwala po sa amin. Uh, continue, Lord, to teach us uh, to minister unto your people through prayer and through the word that they may be healed when they are uh, when they are sick, Lord God, spiritually, emotionally, and even physically. that they may be provided for all their needs according to your riches and glory in Christ Jesus. We continue to pray for our family salvation. Lahat po ng aming pong mga kamag-anak ng Panginoon, nanay, tatay, kapatid, anak, apo, pinsan, uh, pamangkin, tito, tita, Lord, we just pray for all of them that they will be saved, that they will come into the saving uh, knowledge, oh Lord, hallelujah, uh, for which you are you are most gracious at palagi kang meron biyaya sa bawat kaluluwa, Panginoon. Lord. You, Lord God, open up their eyes that they may know the truth, the truth about you, the truth about life, the truth, oh God, that our life here on earth is just temporary. We pray, Lord, for all the leaders that you are using. Continue, Lord God, to empower each and every one of them. Magbola kay Sister Estela, kay Dave, kay Nabi, kay Len, kay Gwai, kay Harold, kay Che, kay Shaira. Ano man po mga struggle lang kanila po pinagdaraanan, alam ko, O Diyos, na kanila po ito mo pagkatagumayan. Pray, Lord, for our schedules. We think to give us the wisdom to organize our time, our schedules. And Lord, those for, those, uh, uh, for, for our brothers and sisters who have a very, very complicated schedules, we pray that you will give them favor, that they will be with us in serving you, in worshiping you, and in studying you. We pray, Lord, for all the OFWs, For the outstanding, faithful workers of ABCF Church, O oh God. Magbola kay Barbie, kay Sandra, kay Raquel, kay Josie, kay Marie, kay Evelyn, kay Debbie, kay Tess, Dan, Roland, Angelo, and Cherry. Lord, I just pray, Lord, that for a special prayer for them. 
that uh, na sila na nasa online ganoon din bang nung kay Angel, kay Arby, kay Helen, kay Jerry, kay Virgie, kay Pia, kay Gemma, kay Kelly at kay Karen. Uh, alam mo Panginoon nilalaman ng kanila pong mga puso. You know their needs, oh God. Alam ko na ito it you kakatagpuin sa mga oras na ito. We pray Lord hallelujah for a special prayer request of uh, sa amin pong kaba, mahal na kapatid na si Elisa. Dalangin namin ang kanyang ina na si Melinda Pamposa, oh Lord, na meron na, na stroke at hindi na po nakapagsasalita at uh, na-paralyze po yung right arm side, right side arm niya po yung kan yung kanang kamay. Dalangin namin ama uh, since uh, you are a God of miracles, we pray Lord God for uh, your miracle healing power to be upon Melinda Pamposa, oh God. Hallelujah na mag-regulate ang kanya po uh, blood circulation na yung mga cells, oh Lord, hallelujah, na namatay ay muling mabuhay. At uh, we pray, Lord, hallelujah, na uh, gamitin mo ang doktor, gamitin mo ang mga gamot na ibinibigay ko sa kanina, oh God, upang marunasan ang kanya pong stroke, siya po ay makapagsalitang muli at maigalaw niyo muli ang kanya pong tanang mga ito. And, and, and Lord, we pray na, that you will remove her depression. Alisin mo ang ano mga gawa ng kaaway, ano mga mga bulong ng kaaway na ibinibigay ko sa kanya. Oh Lord, because ay parinig po niya ang iyong banal na salita. Father God, once again, we thank you for hearing our prayers. And we even pray, Lord, for Sheila, Sheila Carillo, uh, na meron din pong sakit at karamdaman. We don't know ano, kung ano po yung kanya pong sakit, Panginoon. We just pray na siya po ay iyong pong pagalingin. And uh, we pray, Lord God, for healing. And we pray, Lord God, for provisions sa lahat po ng mga um, medical expenses na kanya pong gagasasin. Father God, uh, once again, we thank you, Lord, for this wonderful privilege of being with us today. And we believe, Lord God, as we walk with you, our lives will never be the same. You will continue to change us from glory to glory and from strength to strength. And I speak, Lord God, favor, blessings, oh God, and uh, organized mind and organized time para sa yung mga anak. Help us, oh God, to focus on the things that are that really matters most. Unang-una sa lahat, ang iyong presensya, ang iyong salita, O oh God, ang assignment po namin ay yung pinagagawa. Continue, Lord God, to give us the boldness to speak forth your word, to share your word of truth, to share the word of love, to share the word of salvation to everyone that we will be meeting today. Father God, uh, allow your Holy Spirit to walk with us throughout this day, every minute, every every second, every hour of this day, O oh Lord, we just surrender it all to you. We surrender our thoughts, we surrender our mind, we surrender our imagination, we surrender our words, we surrender our hearts, we surrender our life unto you. Father God, we thank you, we honor you, and we declare that this is a great day to serve you, to walk with you. In Jesus' name we pray, and everybody says, Amen and Amen and Amen. I am makes a way. Thank you, Lord, because our God is a way maker, miracle worker. We are blessed in Christ. In Christ, I am appointed, anointed, anointed glowing, and glowing, glowing for God's glory, for the advancement of His kingdom. 
in Christ, I belong to the chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation. I am his possession. I am called from darkness to light to show his goodness. In Christ, I will not feel no worry, for the joy of the Lord is my strength, and he has given me the spirit of power and sound mind. In Christ, I am a new creation. All things have passed away. All things are new. I walk by faith and not by sight. In Christ, I am younger. I am stronger. I am well, wise, wealthy. I bloom in this church where I am planted. In Christ, I am at the top and not at the bottom. I am the head and not the tail. I am covered by the precious blood of Jesus. And I am protected against all sickness, plans, and works of the enemy. I'm living for God's purpose. I'm blessed to be a blessing. Abundantly blessed in Christ forever. Yes and amen. Amen and amen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, Papa. Good morning, 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 Good <laughs> okay, so let's have our best photos of the day. <laughs> one shot, ready, one, two, three, three. Okay. Okay, jump shot. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, see night you night. again. Good morning. Bye. 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 Bye.